Hi there, and let's get to it. The way the curves work is very similar to the color wheels, except whereas the color wheels target the image based on its luminance range, the curves break up your controls over the three individual RGB channels and give you a master control for the luminance. The way you're meant to read this graph is from the bottom left to the top right, with the bottom left representing the darkest parts of the image. So I'm going to select a shot that's a bit more representative of what we're covering. So then this part of the curve would be referring to the mic, the appliances in the back, the bottom of his hair there, and her shirt. You would then travel up the line, and here you would have the brightest parts of the image. If I was to zoom in a little bit, it would be the specular areas. So these bits on the cup that are reflecting the ceiling lights, just that of the window. Anything under that, and anything higher than the darkest parts of the image, will fall into the midtones range, and generally describes about 90% of the visible image. In order to start making amendments to the curve, I can either manipulate the existing points, so if I click the controller at the bottom and I start dragging across, I'm going to start making my dark areas darker. But because this line is connected to the top, it's moving everything in a linear fashion. So if I wanted to prevent that from happening, I could lock it off by dropping a point here and then start dragging the shadow down. To remove a point, you just have to right-click on it. I can do the opposite. I can drag the darkest parts of my image and expose them to make them brighter. Let's try the other side. Here I can make my highlights brighter by moving across the top. I could use a second point to try to lock off the bottom part of the curve in more or less a straight line, and that way we're only highlighting the top areas. And just as I predicted, that's a very narrow range of my image. It's mostly just those bits on the table. Cool. So right now I am controlling all of my channels simultaneously. They're all linked together. I can unlink this and I can start targeting these individually. So let's say I think that the cupboards and the shadows on the wall in the background are a little bit too cyan. The opposite of cyan in the additive color space is red. So I know that I only have to add red into this luminance range to undo some of that blueness. So I can grab that and start pushing it up. And you can see that's really affecting the level of cyan and blue inside this image. But it has ended up affecting absolutely everything and making it all red. And that is because of how this curve reacts to the point that I've made. This is referred to as a Bezier curve. It calculates a logarithmic curve that gently eases into the point and then comes out of it. The big benefit of Bezier curves is that they tend to look a lot more organic and natural. The downside, of course, is that if I'm trying to target the wall, I'm starting to affect everything else, including the shadows and the highlights. So this is where additional points come into play. I can work on the wall and then I could decide to undo some of that in the highlights by dragging the curve into the opposite direction and doing the same for the shadows to make sure that they don't end up red. And now I just have to move this point around until I find that sweet spot where the wall is because right now I'm still too high and I'm, I'm impacting things that I don't want to impact. If I was to hide this for a second, you could see that I've now applied a slightly more gentle change to the color tones in the image. If I want to start making changes and I want to lock off a portion of the image in advance, what I could do is hold down the shift key on my keyboard and click a point. That way I am dropping off this point without moving the line, which is what happens by default. Another shortcut is to hold Alt in order to snap a point back to the neutral region. All of these channels have additional controls underneath that allow you to indicate their intensity. What can often happen is you'll make changes to your curves and you'll really like what you've done, but you want to lessen its effect. So what I can do is go down here into the controls for the blue channel and lessen the intensity. And that takes me back to this neutral looking grade. Thank you very much for watching and until next time.